G'day kids, we're going to be talking about fapping today. <laughs> oh man, I never thought that I'd make this video as, you know, it is quite embarrassing, especially opening up and sharing your, your deep dark secrets to the world wide web. However, I'm also very aware that this is a extremely common problem that many men face. I know that it's people in general, but I feel like it's especially a guy problem who are just so addicted to porn and fapping that you're just, I don't know, kind of wasting your life force in a lot of ways. And I'm going to get into the negatives of too much fapping and especially porn and go into my story, how I got into this mess and why it's actually a lot more serious than you may think, especially for those who don't actually take no fap seriously. So let's just start from the top, I guess. So I got into porn when I was about 10 years old and this was during the time where internet porn like just started to become a thing. So there weren't any streaming services like, you know, Pornhub or whatever. If you wanted to download videos, well, first, one option is to just join a website, which of course no guy ever does. You just go through the tour and then they ask for your credit card number and you're just like, ah, I already nutted, I don't need your website anymore. <laughs> and you know, this was during the times where, I don't know, it was, it was very new. These were the times where you'd have to wait for like a picture to load of a, a naked lady and you'd be like jacking off and just waiting. The picture's loading slowly, one bar at a time, and then the nipple load and then you nut, right? Those were back in the day and I can almost guarantee you that there is not one teenager in this modern society who is nutting over a picture because we got virtual reality porn 4k we've got all the different categories that you can possibly imagine man i'm telling you it, <sighs> this is so embarrassing but <laughs> i used to jack off like as a teenager jeez even past high school like multiple times a day like i i think my record was like maybe seven eight nine times in a day Sure, there were times where I might have cut down on porn here or there, but I was always masturbating and I never really quit porn for a significant period of time, ever since I started when I was like 10 years old, man. Now, 17 years later, I'm 27 and even though during the time of this recording, I'm on day 8 of NoFap and this is actually the longest that I've ever gone without watching porn or masturbation or having sex. I'm, actually, I'm doing a, one of those, it's called a 90 day hard mode reset where you just stop everything, right? It's not just porn, not just masturbation, it's sex. And I have a very <laughs> hungry girlfriend, let's just say. So it's difficult on her, but she's also very understanding and understands that by me doing this, I'm rebooting my brain. So that way when I do go back into sex mode, I'm gonna be a lot more present. My mind's gonna be less twisted. I'm gonna be more present, right? Because the problem is, when you get too addicted to masturbating and watching porn all the time, the next time you're having sex with your partner, you're not really having sex with them. You're just masturbating, but using another human's body. And this isn't good. Like we've always, we always have, not that it's not any of your guys' business, but we have amazing sex, right? But it's about the psychology behind it. I just don't, I don't think this is good long term. Like there's a reason why porn fucks you up so much. Do your research, of course. Don't just take my word for it. But, I don't know. It's one of those... It's one of those addictions that just really screw up with your mind because I can't think of an action that gives you more of a dopamine hit than nutting to porn. I don't think there is any, even more than weed, seriously. And then what happens is that you get used to this unrealistic, huge amount of a dopamine hit that your brain starts to well, it starts to evolve, doesn't it? It starts growing more dopamine receptors and then the next time for you to get that same level of pleasure, you need a higher stimulus. This is why when people go down the porn route, instead of just 
watching a first video and just jacking off, now you're like going through like 10 different videos and then your tastes are getting more perverse and perverse and it's getting quite gross. And I know this because it gets to the point where you're like, I can't tell anyone what the fuck I'm watching right now. What the, what the fuck am I doing? And like every once in a while you kind of sh shake out of it and you're like, Ooh, okay, what the fuck? I gotta cut this down for a while. But then you just go back to it and it just feeds this loop. And it's like porn isn't like weed, for example, where you can do it every once in a while and, and, it, and it's okay if you have control over it. Porn, at least from my beliefs, and take it from someone who's been watching internet porn since it started, it's really bad for you, man. It is. Like, just not, not even physically, because you, like, you're nutting to nothing, right? You're using all, this, all these minerals and vitamins and, and life force that, well, and what is seen, right? It literally creates life. You gotta think about how potent that is, how much fucking resources that takes from your body and you're wasting it, what, into your hand? <laughs> into a napkin, down the drain? watching other people have sex through a screen of ones and zeros. Like, it, it's really messed up when you actually think it. And I'm not trying to shame or make you feel bad by watching it. I'm just, again, I'm just talking to myself here. If you're getting triggered or whatever by this, or you feel the need to defend porn, just seriously, save your breath. If what I'm talking about is complete bullshit and you don't believe it at all, then move on with your life. Don't try to justify your habit. It just makes it so much worse when you do try to quit because you're adding this extra reason why, like this, this level of, it's almost like you're adding pride to, no, I masturbate because of this. So then the next time you do want to quit, now you're holding on to this. It's like, but I've already defended porn. And like, what are people going to think? You know, I've just changed my mind completely. I'm going to appear to be a fool. And that's a, you know, another huge problem of modern society is that, well, just humanity, it's not even society, modern society, just humans in general, we're so afraid to being wrong and changing our minds. It's just fucking ridiculous. We're always transforming, we're always changing. We should be changing our minds. If you're not, I feel like something is really wrong, you know? Because if you think you've figured it all out and what you believe right now is the absolute truth with a capital T, well, I guess if it works for you, but I don't think it does work in <laughs> long term, you know, and This is what happened to me with porn. I Kind of just let it slide while completely destroying my brain from the inside out becoming this dopamine fiend To the point where just normal things didn't give me pleasure anymore, right? It's a very hedonistic type of activity where you just it's like a, it's a drug really, isn't it? But it's a drug that gives you no benefits apart from the few second high that you get from ejaculating, you know? And it's, this was getting so bad that like, uh, even though I was, I was having regular sex with my girlfriend, I'm still masturbating. Like it, it, it just makes no sense. So it's not just the addiction to like ejaculating, it's addiction to watching porn itself. And this is a big, big issue for many different reasons. But for the one that I'm thinking about right now is that you have all these unrealistic expectations of what sex is, right? You start, like I said, you start masturbating with human bodies instead of actually having a genuine connection. And this doesn't mean that you have to, ha you know, you have to, have sex in this stereotypical, you know, romantic way with rose petals, even though that would be nice and I'm sure your girlfriend would appreciate that. So do it if, if you feel called to do it. You can still have, you know, dirty, animalistic, gorilla fucking sex, but without having that twisted view of having sex like a porno. You know what I mean? Because like if you're having sex with your partner and you think you're imagining different ways of having sex or maybe you're picturing another lady or as soon as that these types of thought come up, it's like you're basically just you're just watching porn again in your mind. But why are you having sex with your girlfriend? But you're not really having sex with your girlfriend. You're just 
again, masturbating using their body. And then it becomes about pleasure and pleasure and pleasure. And then your bar just raises higher and higher and higher. And this is a very fundamental addiction problem with anything. This is, this is just what happens. You get hooked on a certain thing, then the bar raises. And then for you to get that same level of pre pleasure, you need to increase the dose. And in this case with porn, it's you need to watch more perverse things, right? You need to go through more videos before you find the perfect one that suits your mood at the time so that you can finally release your life force into a napkin, right? And I just started to notice that like the, the big negatives that I, I really started to notice was like my motivation was going down, my just my overall drive in life because I was like so used to getting this massive dopamine hit that like my, my unconscious is like, all right, you don't have to do any work, you got your pleasure, you're good. And I'm like, oh, I just, and it's fucking embarrassing, man. Like if you, <laughs> like it's seriously a good way, like if you are trying to stop masturbating and watching porn and stuff, <laughs> a good technique is to just Picture yourself like going, like watching yourself from a third person view and then just really sit with that for a second and you'll realize how pathetic and beta. And this is not coming from a religious point of view. I'm just purely speaking from a physical scientific perspective. These past couple of years I've been studying Carl Jung a lot and he talks about this concept of the anima, which represents the feminine part of the male right and then you've got the animus which is the male the masculine part of the female and my anima dude has <laughs> transformed into a very toxic entity like it, it's gone to the point where my anima is basically a demon succubus witch who is feeding on my life force and this may sound dramatic but i can tell you right now guys this is this isn't dramatic enough. This is part of the trap, is that if you don't think porn is a big deal, you've gotten duped, dude. <laughs> like, do you really think society wants the best for you? Do you really think that our life is set up in a way where it's feeding your growth and transformation and helping you live an optimized life where you're thriving? No, of course not. They want us to be docile, lazy, and just kind of giving, giving our free will to impulses, really. And that's what it's about. And that's the fucked up thing about my animus, this demon witch succubus who was sucking on my life force, is that that's basically what I'm doing every time I fap. It's like I'm feeding her, I'm feeding her, I'm feeding her. And this massive boss is just getting larger and stronger. And it gets harder and harder to deny those impulses when they do come up. I want my anima to be this goddess, warrior, ally type, where it's actually serving me in my life. So I can reclaim that femininity and most importantly for myself, claim back my masculinity. Because what I've learned after fapping all these times is that it's completely drained my manhood. It has, right? Where I'm just, my will has been so weak. It doesn't take long for me to, oh, I can't be fucked anymore. I've just gone so fucking lazy, right? And man, reclaiming your sexuality is so important and so powerful. It doesn't matter what paradigm you're looking at sexuality through. It's the basis of everything, man. Like scientifically, it's literally the, it's how we create humans, how we create life. Right? If you want to look at it metaphysically, sexuality and the union between the masculine and the feminine, it's creation, dude. <laughs> you know, even look at the, if you, if you believe in chakras anyway, uh, I, I don't believe nor deny, but whatever. It's, it's an inter interesting model, even if we're just thinking about it conceptually. But even think about the chakras, man. What's at the very bottom? It's your, fuck, it's your root chakra. So if, if this is all out of whack, it's like building a skyscraper on quicksand. Eventually it's all gonna crumble down. And my whole life I'm looking at trying to fix all these problems in all these different areas of my life, but my sexuality is fucked up, right? I haven't even claimed my manhood. 
I've stayed a little boy thinking that I'm a man, but I wasn't. I was a weak little boy who just gave into his hedonistic pleasures. And even though I didn't look at it as a big deal, and I, for a long time in my life, I had the, you know, the classic trickster archetype approach to life. I was like, hey, there's no good, there's no bad, it's all meaningless. Hey, it doesn't matter, I might as well have fun. It doesn't matter what you do, we're all gonna die. And that's true, but at the same time, I wanna have a, a not just a good time in life, I wanna have a sustainable life. You know, it's like playing a video game. Do you just wanna be an NPC? <laughs> Right, a non-player character who's just kind of there and just says what he's programmed to say, or do you want to, do you want to be like the main character of the video game where you're working yourself, you're fighting demons, you're learning magical skills and gaining experience and making new allies and going on this epic quest and just having purpose in life. I mean, of course, I can't. I don't want to project and say that that's how everyone should live, but I would hope that you'd want to live that way. You know? And if you can't claim your sexuality, <laughs> you're basically, you're fucked in the long run. I mean, you can be successful and fap every day, but imagine if you didn't fap. Crazy, right? Now, some of you listening at home might be thinking about, but what about masturbation without porn? And while, yeah, I would say that's much better, just cutting off porn, just period, and just masturbating. Well, even though it's not, just because something isn't as bad as something else, it doesn't mean that it's not bad, you know, because you're still using a lot of resources. Again, just, you don't have to look at the woo-woo reasons, even though there are plenty, and I do believe it, but just from a very practical, scientific point of view, you're using a lot of resources, dude. <laughs> For two seconds of pleasure, just, for it to go in your hand, down the drain, I'm assuming. So you gotta really think about that kind of stuff and it, it adds up, man, it adds up. You don't notice every nut as like a massive hindrance to your life, but it's like it has a compound effect and then eventually you're gonna be so weak and just have lack of discipline and will. And this has been the story of my life, guys, trust me. I, I know what I'm talking about and it sucks and this is embarrassing to even open up about this stuff, but it's important. It's important to talk about this stuff and it's important to let other people know that you're not alone. We go through these struggles, but we can do it, man. We can do it together. This is a, a, just a challenge. This is resistance. It is definitely possible, even though very difficult. And some of these days, man, like some days are okay because I'm just putting all that focus into creativity. And this is another thing, which I forgot to mention, how I said that uh, sexuality is the, or sexual energy is the foundation of life as we know it. It's also the, like, the same force behind creativity. So if you're using all your creative force, like creative force, sexual force, literally the same thing, okay? So I don't want anyone to get confused about that, but if you're using your creative force to just come into nothing, into just the air, then your creativity is going to go significantly down. Whereas if you harness that energy and use what's called sexual transmutation, something that Napoleon Hill popularized in the famous book, Think and Grow Rich, I think it was chapter 11, go check that out. But sexual transmutation, it's basically transforming sexual energy and into creativity. Think about all the greatest innovators of our time, whether it's like Da Vinci or Tesla or just anyone who's just like mega, mega, mega successful, but in a very innovative way, they all practice this stuff, man. Abstinence. Abstinence. You know, and it's good to, and it's very difficult for me because I'm a hedonist by nature, but I also realize how messed up it is. Um, because you, again, you just get too used to this massive hit of dopamine and then you being addicted to porn, you're gonna eventually get addicted to social media or looking at screens all the time or drugs, weed, alcohol, shitty food. Like it, it, it just snowballs into this catastrophic cycle of 
feeding your impulse. From a purely scientific perspective, you can prove without a doubt that fapping to porn all the time is detrimental to your health, physically, emotionally, and cognitively. And of course, if you believe the spiritual side of things, which I do, you don't have to though, but it's also really bad for that. It's, it's just bad all around, man. Like, and I'm not saying this to like guilt you or try to convince you to stop porn or whatever. I'm just sharing my story and like, yeah, of course I'm nudging you guys to like maybe think about it differently. If you are addicted to porn, maybe all you guys watching this have been on, you know, 300 days of no fap and I'm the noob here. Like, all right, Tom, that's cute. <laughs> Glad to see you've joined the <laughs> joined the club, and I am glad that I joined the club. You know, just eight days, and I've already realized I've already noticed a lot of benefits. Like I'm already more driven. Like fuck, dude, when's the last time that I made a video like this? Just talking, right? It's been a long time. Most of my video, like the vast majority of my videos lately, have just been like super high production quality videos with a lot of like jump cuts and high stimulus and effects and all this kind of stuff. It, like it reflects what I'm going through in my life. I was just going more towards the hedonistic lifestyle, even though consciously I think of myself as a, I don't even like the word spiritual anymore. It's been fucking tainted, but well, I guess I, I can't think of any other word, but I, I consider myself a spiritual person where I'm not, I don't just, I'm not a materialistic person who just, I don't know, I don't, like I don't chase money, I don't care about status or fame or any of this bullshit. I just want to help transform myself and help others along with it. I think we need to help each other a little bit more. There's too much noise and pollution and deception in the collective psyche and everything trying to grab your attention and we don't have enough people talking about this kind of stuff and of course this video isn't gonna go on the trending page and this is again it just reflects modern people and how addicted we are to dopamine and how high our bar is for stimulation I am only on eight days I'm sure some of you pro no fappers out there I probably go on like, that's cute, mate. You have no idea what's to come. Like, I'm, I'm sure that this is like the easy part, even though it's been very, very hard, pun intended. But I've just removed that option. Like, my intention is just to stop porn forever, masturbate when I absolutely have to. Because, again, masturbation is not bad. Like, if you're a person who has like the urge to murder other human beings, then masturbate, dude. It's going to calm you down. It's going to be much better. Like, there are always, like, Whatever advice that you give doesn't apply to everybody, right? I'm just, again, speaking to myself and speaking to people at a certain stage in their self-development. But yeah, I just wanted to share my journey with you. I'll keep you guys updated, maybe at like day 30 or something. We'll see how we go. I've got a lot of things happening next month um, and just kind of reevaluating my life and I don't know, I already feel like a little, I feel more confident. I already feel like my willpower power is stronger and I can say no to things like junk food or watching too much TV. Like I still do, of course, again, guys, I've done, oh fuck. You can't just reverse all the damage and mistakes you've done in your life. Like that shit stays with you, but you can either keep going down that route, make it worse, or be honest with yourself, cut the shit out and at least just, just do what you can with the tools that you have. There's no point crying about, oh fuck, if only I didn't masturbate all that time. <laughs> I could have been so successful. Like, come on, dude. There's no point doing that. It is what it is. You just gotta take responsibility and own the mistakes that you have done. If you believe in, at, if it is a mistake, of course there are a lot of people out there who think that masturbation porn is healthy for you. Like, but I'm telling you guys right now, those scientific studies are what they call pseudoscience. It's bullshit, it's lies, it's, it's fucking horse shit. Like, you, oh. <laughs> just maybe try it yourself and see what benefits you get. Um, or not, whatever. But I, I just wanted to open up to you guys and let you know that you're not alone. 
and that we can help each other. We can get through this. So, you know, comment below. Let's start a, a chat. What have been your challenges? What have been, you know, what are the things that have helped you? What are your beliefs on no fat, porn, sex, whatever? I think it's a very interesting topic and it's getting talked a lot about. You know, I watch, uh, there's this channel called Universal Man. I would highly recommend that if you want to get more tools and help you on this NoFap journey. He's really cool. I think his name is Mark. Yeah, it's Mark. He's awesome. Go check him out, Universal Man. If you enjoyed this video, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. You know, if you got some value out of this and you want to help support us on Patreon, you can do that too. Really helps fund like you know, high production documentaries, podcasts, and for me to have more time to make more of these type of videos for you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's it, man. Have a happy journeys, man. Merry Christmas. Have an awesome 2020. And I sincerely hope you guys all the best. Um, yeah. Peace out.